easy and effective. Whether you're a beginner just learning how to strength train or a seasoned at-home workout aficionado, this workout is for you. In roughly 40 minutes, we're gonna go through some strength training and wrap it up with some stretching that'll give you a full body workout that has you feeling good and consistent. This workout is not quick, it's not intense, it's more about getting that rhythm, moving your body through space, and of course, coming out the other side feeling good. Let's get started with that warm up. What you wanna do is grab your pair of dumbbells. I'm using a pair of adjustable dumbbells, but if you have a pair of light and heavy weights, that's gonna work great throughout the class. It's an interchange depending upon where you're at when your fitness level and how much you're pushing yourself on this day. So 10 RDLs to start. Feet hip width apart. From there, I'm gonna work on hinging my hips. So I'm gonna work on folding from my hips, but not my spine, okay? So the weights are gonna come straight down, 10 total. Work on that brace. Your depth will vary depending upon your flexibility, your mobility, all those things that come with consistency, practice, just like anything. Make sure you keep count. Don't lose count like me. Seven, eight. I didn't lose count. Maybe I did. Maybe someone actually counted on me. I did. And <laughs> gonna tell me in the comments there. Okay control jog next for 20 seconds. So we're gonna start in five seconds here, but just control each position of a jog, okay? So let's rock it. Just warming up, getting that blood temperature rising. Breathe, hold each one, stick it, stick it. There it is, great. Meet me on the ground. Next, what we're doing is bare leg extension, a very common exercise that we do in my workouts. And with this one, we're gonna start in bare position, then we're gonna extend our leg with purpose and hold it out there for a second, okay? For a second, here we go. <laughs> so five each side, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, balls of the feet in the back. I'm gonna elevate up, embrace, then stick and then back. Keep your count. Purpose. Three. Three. Four. Oh yeah. Love bear position. Okay, to the top. One more round in this warm up. RDLs, 10 total. Keep your count. Start from the bottom, feet keep with apart, soft knees, hinge from the hips. What I usually say is pick a point about five, six feet out in front of you, just to help you keep that eyesight, not up, not down, right in the middle. And there we go. Always feels great. Okay, controlled jog again. We're gonna be starting in about five seconds here. You know what to do on this now. Hold, 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 controlled. Boom, let's go. Drive those knees up. Come on. Oh yeah. Ah. Woo. There we go. Woo. Oh yeah. Take it on down. With this workout, you'll notice that I'm not rushing to the next one. Yes, when we get to our circuits, we're gonna keep some pacing with it, but right now it's not hit. It's not high intensity like some of the other workouts I do. This one is just an easy workout, but efficient, okay? Bare leg extension, five each side. Go through your setup. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. Woo. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is go over the exercises. I'm gonna stop, really talk about the ones and circuit one. Towel, water, off to the side. Take those when you need them, okay? So I'm gonna take a towel, a pat, circuit one here. Squat presses, 10. Bicep curl, six by six, and single arm rows, eight each side. So that's a one each side kind of exercise, okay? So squat press, what I would say is grab a weight that is roughly around your shoulder exercise, your shoulder press weight, because with this one, I really want you to use momentum. I know that's something that some people say, oh, you want to control? With this one, it's momentum based because we're using that power from our legs to drive these weights up. It's just a different goal for, for an exercise, okay? So front rack position here. From here, make sure that the weights are not resting on your body. I want that rack up, those elbows up. I'm gonna squat down. I'm gonna press straight up, okay? Keep your count, 10 total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, awesome. Okay, next one, bicep six by six. So arm weight here, and if you don't have maybe a weight that challenges you, this is a great exercise because we're gonna stack two bicep face exercise. What we're gonna do is palms up, six up, but slow on the way down. So working that negative, that eccentric phase of this exercise here. Strong up, slow down. Six, palms up. And then after that, we're gonna go six, hammer, palms facing in, and much faster pace, okay? So keep your count, get your weight set. Okay, palms up, let's rock it. Work that brace. I always say, feel every inch of that way down on this exercise. Every single part of it. It's two for me. Three. Four. Five. Six. Whew. Okay, six right into it. Hammers, one, two, three. Four, five, yeah. and six. Ooh. We got three rounds. Of this first circuit. And so after we finish the first round, adjust where you need to. Adjust that you challenge yourself, keep your technique, and make sure that you keep your pace. Okay, so single arm rows. Positioning from that first warm up exercise, we get the RDLs. Feet hip width apart. Hinge from the hip flat back. I want that opposite arm out. I'm gonna pull through. And that at the same time, I want you to think that you're putting that weight into your pocket here, okay? Eight each side. Set up, up tall, brace, hinge. Keep your count. Seven and eight. If you had to take my other workouts, you might have seen my, my cat that likes to make an appearance. She is in the room. We'll see if my producer Lucy wants to make an appearance today. Or she's gonna be a good girl and just stay. Awesome. Okay, you know the exercises. And this circuit now, I really want you to emphasize not going more than 30 seconds in between each one. That first round, we were learning them, getting our cues down, 
Now really try to show in those breaks, nothing more than 60, 30 seconds. Okay, get your weights for your squat press. Yes, we can take our breathers in between, towel, water, all that kind of good stuff. But between, once we start it, try your best, okay? Let's do it, round two. Squat press, 10 total. Use your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, and ten. <sighs> Take a quick peek at the clock. <sighs> Just shaking it. Arms off. And get my weights back up. Adjust if you need to. Six by six. Keep your count. Make sure you breathe. I got one more. It's okay if you're ahead or behind. Right into them. Oh yeah, Woo, always a favorite. Adjusting my weight. I'm gonna quickly towel off. Let's do it. Put that weight in your pocket. And you might be wondering, what's with that random arm up there, Tyler? What it, for me, what it helps me do is keep my back a little bit more braced so my arms just not hanging there, not chilling there. So I gotta keep that full upper body core brace. Also, for me, it helps me know that I'm not trying to gain that extra momentum and rotating. It's just the muscle group that I want working, okay? Let's go, other side. Talking too much, Tyler. Okay. Two rounds down. Like I said in the beginning, great for beginners that want to learn strength training, but also maybe you've been strength training for a bit. And you just need an easy workout. You have those days, long day, long week of work and you're just looking at something to get that body moving because you know you're gonna feel better after. I'm in that boat right now. I had a tough Monday bike ride and then filmed my Tabata workout yesterday. It just feels good just to move. Squat press, 10, let's go, last round. Three. Six. And 10. Quick peek at the timer once you finish. Like I said, no more than 30. Enough to catch your breath, depending upon how much you've exerted yourself, where you're at. Six by six. Oh, yeah. I got one more after this one. Ah. 
hammers. And six. Huh. Okay. Quick sip. No lagging. Come on, team. Let's do it. Last round of these. And eight. And eight. Woo. Okay. Finish up if you need to. Circuit two. This one's gonna be on the ground. So push-ups, 10. Tricep extensions, 10. Plank walkout, four. And then weighted crunch, 12. So. The way that I programmed in my head is hopefully the weight that you can use for your tricep extensions is also the same weight for your weighted crunch. If you need a, another weight, feel free to grab that. Okay. Take what I'm go here. I feel like I'm all over the place. Okay, push-ups. 10 push-ups. If you're doing assisted, so with those knees drop down, all good. And for the first round, I'm gonna show the, those ones. And if you're doing unassisted, really work some of the same cues. Bracing, chest and hips coming down at the same time. Okay, so if I'm doing assisted, I'm gonna come up, my chest is over my hands here, and I'm gonna drop my knees straight down. So notice that angle that I have with my upper body, and still I'm gonna work my chest and hips coming down at the same time. 10 total, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Whew. Do them that way, because once you move to unassisted, you know those cues, you know that rhythm with that body. Tricep extensions. With your weights up, what you're gonna do is hinge from that elbow. My arms are up. I'm gonna bend from my elbow, keeping that elbow stationary. Try not to move it back and forth. And I'm gonna drive it straight up. If the weight is too heavy, you'll notice you're moving those arms, okay? 10 total. <sighs> weights up. Three, my weights are facing in, palms are facing in. Keep your count. And 10, okay. Yes, if you have a bench, feel free to use your bench. Plank walkouts here. Similar starting position. And yes, if you're doing a modified version with your knees down, all good. You're still gonna work the same cues. So plank position with the arms extended. I'm gonna walk my hands out as far as I can, hold it for a second, and then walk it back. It's supposed to be intense. With each hand, walk out. Control, trying not to shake those hips back and forth. Let's go. Up, walk it. I 
Got one more for a total. Oh yeah. Always, I always forget to start my watch. That's my kryptonite. <laughs> okay, on your back again. <sighs> With this one, my back flat against the ground, feet flat. I'm gonna hold my weight up, my eyesight is up. And I'm just gonna work on pushing that weight straight up. Not out over your feet, straight up as I lift from my chest and my head at the same time. Don't crunch on that neck. 12 total. Weight up. Let's go. Strangely, random thought came into my head, which happens at each workout. Watching this show on Netflix called Louder Milk, you know it's what it is, and the episode I just watched, he heard himself doing a power crunch, and I was like, what's a power crunch? I've been in this industry for about 15 years. I can tell you, I've never heard of a power crunch. I think that was it, a weighted crunch. Okay, round two. We know what we're doing. We know the cues. Shorten that break. Keep good pacing, breathing, all those good things, okay? Push-ups. If you're doing your assisted, do your assisted. Work your technique, work your cues, 10 total. And 10. <sighs> Turn it over. <sighs> Weights up for your triceps. 10. <sighs> Bend, drive up. Try to match that same path. can breathe through your mouth. Blank walkout. So on that first one, if you felt like you were bouncing those hips side to side, increase that base support. Take your feet a little bit wider, okay? Four total. Brace. Hold. Walk it back in. Oh, yeah. Weighted crunch. Power crunch. Just a power run in front of every exercise to make it sound intense. Power curl. 12 total. Let's go. I will say with that one, you feel that difference between just a small crunch and really reaching for that extra range of motion if you can, okay? Keep that in mind. As I keep coming to you with a theme of why these, where these exercises and where this workout can fit in, I did a podcast talking about that, how when maybe we're starting off on trying to create a routine that Sometimes we're told, oh, everything needs to be intense, intense, max effort. But these workouts are great when you pushed yourself for two days, or maybe you're busy at work, 
and you feel stressed or you feel like, oh, I don't feel like I can do a super intense workout, fit this in, put this in, we're just moving. Yes, I'm sweating, but with it, if you could take it slower and you can use lighter weights, things like that, like get the blood flow going and get you ready for the next day. Okay, last round and then we're gonna do some stretching. Set yourself up, push-ups. Let's go, 10 total. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, I got one more. Oh yeah. Blank walkouts. Challenge that core in a variety of ways. Four, set yourself up. <laughs> Those triceps. I got one more. Oh yeah. Whew. Oh, baby, spill it. Weighted crunch. Remember what I said about that extra range? 12. Oh yeah, okay. Finish up if you need to. In these classes, in all my classes really, try to challenge your core in a different way. That word, and the reason why I talk about it is, it's one of my favorite topics is core training. But we do it in different ways so that hopefully we understand that core training is not just endurance crunches, but we can use weight. We can do intense plank walkouts. We can do exercises that we still use our core, like push-ups or those bicep curls. We're like, oh, I didn't know I was working my core. But if you don't use it in those, you feel that difference. Push your weights off to the side and we're gonna transition now to our stretching. Towel if you need it, grab a sip. Okay, we're gonna start on all fours here with eight cat cows. Now I'm gonna to try to explain this without blasting your stereo here. So what I'm gonna do is hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips with your position. I'm gonna work on arching that up, stretch out that back, stretch out those lats. And then after that, I'm gonna draw my head up, look up to the sky. and stretch out all that fascia on the fronts of your body, okay? So eight total, keep your own count, just controlled pace, don't rush it. Hold it for a strong one, two Mississippi. Oh. <sighs> 
great. Always feels good. Okay. Next one we're gonna do. And with this one, you might need to adjust it. Maybe if you don't like to be on your hands or your knees. So we're gonna do some T-spine rotations here. What I'm gonna try to do is balance on one hand. I'm gonna come down towards that opposite arm. And I'm gonna try and reach out with that elbow and rotate my body open. Okay, so I'm trying to create some movement and it's called your thoracic spine. So movement is good in it. Can help with a lot of things. And so I'm gonna try my best. It might be small, a small rotation like mine. Eight total, okay? Set up and try not to lean into too many of the other muscle groups. Remember, controlled. stretching we're still working out this class is a combo of stretching mobility movement much more slowed down though okay other side set yourself up See you there. How good. <laughs> On your back. So we've done this one before. What we're gonna do is my left leg is gonna be out. And what I'm gonna do is push my left heel into the ground. I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm gonna take my right leg. I'm gonna come up. Out and around, a big hip circle. So up, out and around, 10 times, okay? Don't let that leg rest. Really try to hit every corner. Keep your count. Three, it's four, you say hi, Lucy? Yeah? Six. Oh. Eight, nine, and 10. Always a crowd favorite there. So switch sides. Right heel dug into the ground. Watch out, Lucy. I'm gonna come up, out, try not to hit, and then back down. 10 total. Oh, two, three. What are you doing, girl? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, it always feels good. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. So with our right leg, we're gonna go out and back in to our starting position, okay? So dig that left heel down. Start down, I'm gonna go out, in, and back down. Keep your count. Two, three, four, five, six, and 10, great. Switch sides, out, up, oh yeah. <sighs> Stretching too loose. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Eight. Oh yeah. 
Woo. Great. That feels good. Next, what we're gonna do. Whew. Back on your back here. We're gonna hold it for each, each side one minute. A nice, easy piriformis stretch. And there's ways you can make it more intense if you need to. But I'm gonna be on my back. I'm gonna start with my right leg. I'm gonna put my ankle over my knee here. And my knee is bent. So if you wanna make it more intense, a couple things you can do. You can try to press this leg out and you can gauge it how you want to, intensity. Or you can lift up that leg to make it intense. So we're gonna hold this for one minute, okay? Just relax. Try to go deeper into the stretch. You finish your stretches, Lucy? I have a joke to my younger sister that Lucy is I think she's four for four I'm making an appearance in my workouts when she's in my, my office. Almost there. Work your breathing. Okay, gently take that down. Switch sides. Foot flat on the ground, bring it out, and then you can gauge your intensity here. There's no wrong with what we're doing here, no, no wrong answer. Work your breathing. You working your purring in? Yeah. Lucy's going to be 13 years old this year. Still think she's a small little kitten now. You got a weight girl. Take that heart rate down. Okay, take that foot down, come up, turn over. We're going to do a calf stretch here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to all, on all fours, and I'm going to put my right leg back, and I'm on the balls of my feet here. And I'm going to use my opposite foot to help gauge that intensity. I can use my left foot to help push my heel down. I'm not really pulsing it like I'm doing now, but... Just hold for a little bit. We're gonna switch, not a full minute here. We're not doing a minute plank. Go ahead and switch it, shake it off. Now I know what cat yoga would be like. Huh, Lucy? You going back to your bed? Just gonna block my lights? Okay. <laughs> One more here. We're gonna do a child's pose for a minute. And what I really want you to emphasize is more that shoulder stretch. Yes, try to push your butt down to your heels. So I'm gonna open up my hips here, try and flatten out my lower back. I'm gonna reach out. And we're gonna hold this for one minute, but really work on that extension on those lats, on those shoulders.
Okay, and slowly come up. <laughs> That's been it. I wouldn't be surprised I've got some cat hair on me. Hopefully you enjoyed this strength and stretch session. <laughs> Keep building that consistency. Not every exercise workout needs to be the most intense. This is a journey that we're on. Keep showing up. Keep working hard. You know, I'll be here. Say bye, Lucy. <laughs> I'll catch you later. <laughs>